Oh yeah. Sorry, I'm a child. What's going on, everybody? Uh, you know who it is, Kevin from Custom Night Vision. The time has come. We're going to compare the civilian power to the full power Boss XE. We already did two videos on the full power version because at the time that's what I had and that's what I'm personally most interested in. But <clears throat> this thing, I will tell you, I actually don't know which one's full power and which one's uh, civilian power because they look exactly the same. So this is the civilian power. Um, yeah, so we're gonna set up a few situations in the dark. We're gonna compare the IR laser, IR illuminator, the stuff that really matters so you can see. And if you're one of those people that can't get one of these restricted lasers, don't worry. The output on this thing, spoiler alert, pretty fucking sick. Now we're ready. Okay. All right, guys, we're in our first uh, little setting here. And I'm going to just jump right into it. Can you spot the difference between these two room illuminators? What about... these two focused illuminators and lasers. Sorry if I'm driving your monitor crazy. If I do it for a second, probably picking up on it. Turn them both on at the same time. This is the full power version. This is the civilian powered version. So the full power has a quoted output of 36 milliwatts. The civilian has a um, stated output of 13 and a half milliwatts. And I really struggling to see a whole lot of difference. I mean, you can see it, but it's not a whole lot. Go back to the laser and the focus illuminator. So this is what we got. Let's go to the third position on the switch. Got laser only, no, sorry, laser and room illuminator. See that the aiming laser output is noticeably brighter on the restricted or full power version, but it's not crazy. So this version that we're using for comparison is uh, 36 and 18. So the aiming laser, that bright dot you see in the middle, middle is 18 milliwatts. This one here, the bright dot is uh, five milliwatts roughly. Some of the Wilcox stuff, uh, the RAID XEs come in different differing outputs from 18 milliwatts all the way to 90 milliwatts. So you kind of got to pay attention to what, what you're looking at. Um, but in these, I think the only ones available are these two. Uh, they have different color viz lasers, but other than that, the outputs are going to be the same. We're going to switch up the setting now and see how these look or work uh, looking into a room from the threshold. All right, believe it or not, the camera is pointed directly at me right now. I don't know what this is going to look like after post. Just so you get an idea of how dark this room is that we're uh, filming into. As you can see around me, behind me, there are three different target stands. We're going to use the different modes on the Boss XEs to see them more effectively through the threshold. Okay, so we're about four or three feet out of this threshold uh, at uh, roughly a 45 degree angle into this corner fed room. I'm going to activate the room illuminator. Again, I don't even know which one is which because I set them down and I picked them back up. I want to say this one is the lower of the two powers. This is the room illuminator in all of its glory. This is the bread and butter of the Wilcox laser systems that we like so much. I'm not sure what you're seeing through your monitor, but in my opinion, this is complete situational awareness. 
with a wonderful contrast. If you can't tell, I'm switching back and forth between the two laser devices. So there's one. Here's the other one. Let's go to the laser and focused illuminator. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's the full power one. Like we said in our previous video, uh, just because this has a fixed divergence angle does not mean that uh, the output on this thing is not as useful as um, you would imagine because we can bounce it off of things or shine it behind stuff to get more depth in certain situations. I'm not going to go into that too much detail, but I think you understand what I'm trying to tell you. Again, that's the low power. So the full power. When I do these demonstrations, you'll kind of understand that both power levels have their advantages. So this might be too much in some situations, especially when I'm shining it off of this high gloss floor. That's actually a little bit nicer, the lower power option. We're gonna go to laser and room illuminator. So that's the full power. I don't know if it's tracing, leaving any ghosting artifacts in the tube that we're filming with, but it is doing it on my night vision device. This is the lower power. Full power. Low power. Uh, one more thing that you may notice when, I don't know if you can see this, Trevor, but is how much splash is getting on the door frame when I switch back and forth between the room illuminator and the focused illuminator. It's about the same, huh? Yeah, it's about the same. That's something I've heard people talk about with these room illuminators is when you're too far out of a threshold, you may get some splash on the door frame, telegraphing your position, but this demonstration will kind of show you that that's not necessarily the case. You're gonna get some splash. I wouldn't necessarily say it's telegraphing your position. There's a bright ass laser and illuminator coming into the room, so you can kind of use your eyes to trace that back to where it came from. Um, we're going to set up one more scenario here to compare these head to head and head back to the office. All right, this is the final scenario that we're going to demonstrate the difference between these two lasers on uh, or lack thereof at this point. We're outside. We're in a very uh, rural area. Um, I do not see any moon. There's a lot of stars. There's some distant kind of house lights, floodlights, but at any rate, it's pretty dim out here, uh, but it is a lot brighter out here than it is inside. I don't know if this properly demonstrates some kind of photonic barrier, but here goes nothing. Uh, this is the room illuminator, obviously. I'm gonna say that is, I can't even tell which one's in which hand. Okay, so I think that's full power. Sieve power, full power, sieve power, full power, sieve power, full power, sieve power. I feel like Wayne's World, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two, sieve power, full power. I'm going to walk around a little bit and hit this door from different angles. I'm about 30 or so meters from that doorway right now. This is the full power laser. And I'm shining into this threshold about through this doorway, about 10 feet, 20 feet down the hall into another room, another, I don't know, 15 feet past that to a wall and I can see everything in there clearly. 
with the room illuminator, I can also see the same stuff on both output modes or both output variants. Full power, sieve power, full power, sieve power, full power, sieve power. Pan that camera to the right and let's look out on this little pasture over here. It's going to be kind of narrow, but can you see like this? Yeah. Okay. Full power. This is laser and focus illuminator or set focus illuminator. I don't remember the terminology I'm using to describe that. This is the sieve power. Full power. Sieve power. That little bush is probably 130 meters, give or take. Full power, sieve power. Full power room illuminator. Obviously, this is not the best situation, but it does provide some information, even at that range. Sieve power. Full power, sieve power. Full power. Oh, sorry. Sieve power, full power. Full power, sieve power. I mean, the difference in output is not entirely meaningful. I mean, that's really, really all I can say. Let's take it back to the office and we'll talk about it. Welcome back to the shop. Um, I have to believe that that portion of the video was relatively self-explanatory, but we're going to go ahead and give you our final thoughts anyway. Before I do that, I am reminded that Wilcox has repeatedly asked me to mention the Bluetooth connectivity of the Boss XE. Uh, so if you're an aux cord guy, maybe it's not for you, but uh, yeah, it's got Bluetooth. I'm just kidding. Uh, the Bluetooth connectivity is a real thing, however, and what it allows you to do is utilize, I think it's written right here on the side, BTAC. And I know because I just scanned the QR code in the little flyer that comes in the box and read all about it, that you can tie these in to all kinds of different systems and weapon health monitors and things that report to armors and tell you how your gun's working um, for you know, maintenance purposes, it can give location data for situational awareness for other operators in your unit or ragtag gang of friends. Um, I don't know who this is gonna apply to, maybe law enforcement guys, if they've got some kind of mesh network, voodoo, ATAC stuff set up that we don't fully understand, but it's in there. So that's something that you get when you buy this thing, which is neat. So onto our final thoughts on performance. I mean, you just saw it, but uh, I was pleasantly surprised at how close these things are in output, even though the numbers printed on the side are a little bit different. The laser output on the civilian model, the aiming laser is more than sufficient. It's a lot brighter than some of the neutered civilian lasers out there on the market. Uh, I don't really know what 5 milliwatts looks like, but I guess it's 5 milliwatts, but it looks bright. It works out past 100 meters from what I can tell. And the big important redeeming factor of any laser aiming system is the illuminator. It's output and the quality in both the uh, more focused laser illuminator and the room illuminator are very bright. Not too bright really in the sweet spot of uh, what we like to see. And that is my favorite part of any of the Wilcox laser systems is that room illuminator. I think it's what keeps them a step ahead of everything else on the market. Um, we've talked about this thing a lot. If you have any questions, comments, contact us, you know the deal. I would pick one of these up before they sell out because we're getting them in small quantities. I mean, I'm going to get one for myself because it's that cool. Thank you for watching. Go subscribe. I think it's here. Do that now. We'll catch you on the next one.